So in this lesson, we will see how we can blend two or three different animations together. Now, those animations can be facial animations or they can be body animations. So uh, one more thing, uh, a lot of uh, subscribers were, ask, were asking me that uh, how to remove this texture streaming pool uh, error that you have. This is because you, when you are running out of memory, so your pool streaming size uh, becomes smaller. So there is a command here. You have to just click uh, on this command console, type r dot streaming dot pool size and give a pool size. For my uh, GPU, I usually use 16,000 and uh, the error rem uh, like, like kind of gets removed. So it is now removed. If it comes again, you can do the same thing. But usually, uh, it's, uh, I don't find it annoying because when I'm rendering, I always render in a high quality. So now I will go to my control, or control drawer here and I will make a new cinematics level sequence here and I will call this cinematics level sequence as uh, you can say blended animation. Once this is done, I will double click on it. Okay. And then I will just go a little bit further here so I can see him doing some action. I will take my meta human from here plus track actor to sequencer add BP the experiment. I don't want the meta human control rig. I will delete. I don't want face control board control rig. I will delete. What I want is the body. That's all what I have here. Now I will go to the body plus track here. In the plus track, I will go to the animation. And the one that I want to use here is the start walk. So when I will choose start walk, he will start walking. But as you know, he's in the air. So what I can do, I can take my floor and move my floor a little bit up so it doesn't show that he is in the air. So you can see he starts walking. Now, right after this, I won't, don't worry about this because this just happens. So uh, right after this, I want to uh, make him walk a little bit more. Then he stops walk. So at the end, I will go to the end of the animation, like some somewhere like here. Go to the animation plus animation and choose the normal walking here. So here is my normal walking. Okay. And now if you will see that he walks pretty good, right? But then he walks, but he goes back which I actually don't want. I want him to continue walk from here. Now, why this is happening? Because it always, uh, the animation always start from the point which is set up, uh, which is already set up. So what you need to do, you have to manually move this. To manually move this, I have to uh, go to the body, uh, body plus track, transform, then I have to make a keyframe, then I have to move it forward and it will take a lot of time and which is not ideal. So how to work with it? We have a blending option. Let's see how to do that. To work on it, I will turn on the like skeletons for now so that you can see what's going on. I will right click here, choose show skeleton. Also, I will right click here and show skeleton. So both will show skeleton. So now the purple skeleton is the active skeleton. The green is the uh, is the is uh, inactive one. So if I will move to the walk, so you will see now the purple one is active. So this animation, this green one, should start where this purple one ends, but he goes back. So what we can do here is that if you will go to the beginning of this walking uh, animation. You can right click it here and then you can go to this option, which is match with the, uh, with this pre, uh, with this bone in the previous clip. So where the previous clip ends, the next clip starts. So this is how it makes both combined or both consistent. Okay. Uh, or you can say continued. So I will go to this option 
match with this bone in previous clip and choose root because I want to my root the whole thing to be uh, like to start with the uh, where the previous one ends so I will choose the root and now you can see it starts from here so uh, let's do one thing let's uh, go back starting okay you can see he starts he reaches here and then he starts okay uh, and he he continue walks so he start uh, he start walking from here then he starts walking further so kind of looks like a little bit weird the reason is that because first of all he walks a little bit faster okay and plus there is no uh, like smooth blending so what we can do here is that if I zoom in okay and go to this bar uh, like uh, let's turn turn off the snapping for now and then drag this walking a little bit over to the previous one you will see there is a blending going on here at this stage okay now this blending will help you to try uh, will help you to see that mm, a very smooth transition you can see a very smooth transition okay now I could have used uh, a slow walk but I'm not using a slow walk here it's a fast walk so you don't have to worry about that okay now other thing what the, uh, what we can do is that because this walk is quite uh, short so let's make the ending a little bit longer here. Let's make this ending a little bit longer. So we can have more walks. I can go here, press Alt on my keyboard and drag this right here. Let's turn on the um, like uh, snap snapping here so it can snap. Now you can see it continues. Why it continued? Because I have already right clicked here before if you remember and I went here and choose the root. So it is matching with uh, with my previous clip where the previous ends this starts. So as I copied this one here with the alt key it already have the same option. So it will keep on going con uh, it will keep on continuing the walk. So I can now press alt and keep on moving this and forward and forward and you can also blend a little bit if you want okay now you can see there are uh, all these are continuous so what we can do at this stage is I will select all of it right click and uh, I don't want to see this uh, like skeleton so I think I have to do it one by one otherwise I won't be able to turn this off okay so I don't want to see the skeleton now if you will see if I will go at the beginning play this he starts walking he starts keep on walking keep on walking okay so I uh, one more thing you can do is that if you don't want that blending uh, to be there much you can remove the blending sometimes uh, if you don't like a lot of blending so you can remove the blendings okay so now there is a very less blending going on so if I will go here so much better okay still like like there is a jerk but you can uh, you know uh, mix and match and you will try to you can try to like like fix that okay so you can see that this is the issue okay so you can easily fix that through the blending part let's turn this off bit more yeah kind of better so something like this you can do to fix this it takes time okay but not that much a bit of it and plus it also depends on the animation you are using it's always ideal if you are going to make Zamo dot you can choose packs if you're using packs so all the animations are uh, like matching animation the one uh, uh, like the animation that I uh, downloaded are from different characters that's why their speed and everything is li little different now at the end of this animation I can go 
okay and i can go to my animation part here plus animation and i will choose the end walk here so stop walk i think yeah stop walking i will choose that and now he go back why because this is a new animation so for the new animation you have to again right click on it match with this uh with this bone in previous clip choose root okay and then it will start walking with that so maybe i have to do a little blending uh here okay So you just uh, need to have a good uh, blending. Rest will be fine then. Okay. And it's always ideal to choose uh, the mocaps that belongs to the same character or actually, uh, or at least uh, to uh, like belongs to the same pack. So now you can see, he will start walking here. And then when he reached to the end, he stops walking. So don't worry about this. I don't know why why this uh, appears. Maybe it's just like memory issue. And same thing you can do with the facial animation. You can also blend two or three facial animations as well. And you can work uh, and work around with that the same way. So I hope this lesson uh, is clear to you. And now you will be able to combine different sort of animation to one metahuman join them together and you know create a complete uh, animation out of uh, out of uh, different types of animations if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do it now and don't forget to hit the bell icon by the way i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos without subscribing so let's change that subscribe to my channel and be the part of the interactive community now here's something really important i want to talk about please do not download my videos, just watch them online. When you download them, it messes up my watch time hours. And that's a bummer. I want to keep creating awesome videos, but it's demotivating when I lose out on those stats. Thanks a bunch for your support. You guys rock. Catch you all in the next video.